Good morning, folks. This is the Global Precipitation Mission, dissecting Hurricane Arthur. It is available for download from the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio, along with this, the latest from Aquarius, mapping the global soil moisture. Both this mapping and the GPM are newer operations that are helping us to understand and quantify the ground-to-air interactions across the planet. Terrific article here on cosmic rays and where a surprising majority come from in the sky, fairly close to the Big Dipper. This area will be significant in the coming years if sun enters grand minimum. Then we come to Voyager, more plasma tsunami wave detections caused by our star. NASA believes Voyager is an interstellar space outside the heliosphere, subject to particles from other stars and the galaxy. The interesting part is that while we have shown that the space in the solar system is far from an actual vacuum being full of dust and gases and solar and auroral winds, the outside of the heliosphere is 40 times denser in terms of plasma. 40. Now we come to Japan. Should already be feeling the effects of a direct landfall predicted tomorrow. Super typhoon back down to a regular typhoon, but we need to hope for more weakening. A deadly earthquake struck Mexico yesterday, killing at least three people, damaging schools and dozens of homes, and it's another Uyen connection, as the earthquake in Mexico again heralds the formation of a tropical storm nearby. This makes three or four such half-day connections just since the spring. Let's hope it doesn't actually get to Hawaii there. Same story as yesterday in Europe with the North Atlantic Lowe's convergence swinging south to the Mediterranean popping. New Zealand a bit under the gun there from this developing low, along with the islands to the north. The convergence doesn't change much in the United States. The northern air is flowing to the southeast to meet the heat and moisture from the south. Lightning, hail, and possibly a tornado are on tap tonight. The sunspots are, well, dubious. Have a baby group pop up in the middle of the departing ones, and while they are all beta, the complexity of the region seen by NOAA is not something I can get behind. I see magnetic separating. The deltas don't look so hot, they may just wait until they turn to fire. Meanwhile, we have a couple new groups cresting into view here as well. Again, we see both positive and negative playing a role, but we need another day or so to get a good view of exactly what's happening down south there. Dubiously, we still have had no flaring and it appears to be getting worse. Mars, Mercury, and Earth still magnetically connected together there with Venus still connected to the backside denoted by its dotted outside line rather than a solid one. Solar winds still very weak, but showing a bit of density this morning to create those tiny dings to the electron flux. Incoming coronal hole took control of the Earth influencing magnetism yesterday, switching us from positive to negative. Luckily, its solar wind stream may sail south of our planet. Got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.